Welcome back to Learn Economia. Today we are going to look on to the innovation theory of profit. So let's see what it is. So coming to innovation theory of profit, we need to talk about a very famous person that is Joseph Schumpeter because he is the person who is actually behind the innovation theory of profit. So this person was actually living between 1883 and 1950. And uh, this famous Austrian economist is also an economic historian as well as this person has authored many important works. So this person is actually best known for his contributions related to his theory of business cycle as well as he was actually talking about the importance of what is called entrepreneurship. So he was telling that entrepreneurs would be forming an important role or cornerstone when it comes to the capitalistic structure. So recognizing the role of capital role of entrepreneur when it comes to what is called innovation. So he says that this would be playing an important role when it comes to capitalist economy. So the role of entrepreneur would be very, very important here. So as per Joseph Schumpeter, profit is something that is identified to be something related to a dynamic economy. So when we say dynamic, we just consider a changing scenario. It's not like static scenario, but it would be a changing scenario. So what his uh, idea tells us is that this person, Joseph Schumpeter, was identifying five important types of changes that would be making development possibilities in the economy or that would be making the economy dynamic. So this would be actually making these five types of changes would be changing the economy. So that would be again leading to development in the economy. So what all are these five types of changes? Let's have a look on to that. The first change is the introduction of new products. So introduction of new products means some new goods would be invented. So there would be an invention, a new invention coming and it would be a new good. So that would be changing the existing market. Now, introduction of new methods of production. So what happens when new methods of production is introduced for example when we talk about a new technology it would be sometimes reducing cost of production and it will be thus leading to some changes in the economy then we are talking about discovery of new raw materials so this is not like uh, we are having some any other output but we are talking about input so what will happen when we discover new input in the economy, definitely this input would get converted into what is called output because we are talking about the production function scenario. And also discovery of new market. So what would happen if there is a new market for the product identified? For example, here we could talk about international trade scenario. So in realistic sense, what will happen in the case of international trade? We will be exporting as well as importing, right? So it's all about creating markets. When we are exporting some commodities to the rest of the world, we are trying to get new market for our products. It's not only in domestic economy our products are sold, but also we would be getting new markets in various foreign economies. Now, the next is introduction of new forms of organization. So the way in which the businessman would be organizing things will be playing a very important role in having profit for the businessman. So when 
businessman would be able to organize their responsibilities well that will lead to more profit and if a businessman is not able to organize his or her a uh, businessman or business woman uh, if he or she is not able to manage all his or her responsibilities that will lead to a failure so organization again is very important new forms of organizations introduction to will be acting as a new form of innovation here so uh, this person shumbita was telling that when we consider innovation we need to understand its role in creating some new development possibilities in the economy so innovation would be something that would involve application of a new body of knowledge when it comes to the business scenario so who is an innovator an innovator doesn't necessarily be an in inventor he need not be an inventor so innovator would be actually going for some kind of invention and this invention will be leading to changes in the economy and that will lead to something called dynamics some changes in the economy and this dynamics will lead to what is called development so this was what shumpeter was telling so when we go, when the businessman go for such kind of innovation this will be in various forms as we have already discussed it might be in the form of new market or it might be in the form of new technique it might be in the form of new product or organization or raw material or whatever it is or leading to what is called development so one important thing that you have to understand here is that whenever you go for an innovation or whenever one uh, businessman goes for an innovation definitely that will lead to more profit for him but never ever think that he will be attaining profit forever after some point of time what happens is that some others will be following the same businessman some others will be imitating or copying or following the technique that has been adopted by this particular innovator definitely inventions and innovation will be acting as an incentive for the innovator to get a profit but the problem is that when a person innovate something it it won't be his own forever the same technique of production or inputs or market or whatever would get copied by others so what uh, this person has to do is that he has to engage in continuous innovation so when he finds that his initial innovation uh, is actually followed by others he can actually go for new innovation so that will give him more profit again again uh, it would get copied by others but that means the person has to go for another innovation again it would get copied by others again the person has to go for another innovation so each innovation would be giving profit for the businessman so that is why schumpeter's theory is known as the innovation theory of profit so what happens is that innovator makes more efforts to stay ahead always because innovation would be leading to profit and profit would be making possibilities to innovate so this is a cycle definitely the first innovation will lead to profit so what happens this would be copied by others copied by others isn't it so the same person goes for another renovation another innovation so again this makes him to get more profit again so that means the same would get copied by others so what a person do he goes for yet another innovation so this innovation profit copying innovation profit copying innovation profit copying and it will be going like a cycle so always innovation will lead to profit and profit would lead to more innovation so this is a main attraction of the theory of uh, innovative theory of profit or innovation theory of profit by shupito but we need to understand that this theory is facing some criticisms as well so sometimes we believe that entrepreneur would be actually rewarded for the risk taking behavior of this person so he would be ready to 
take risk because we are living in a world of uncertainty and whenever we engage in a business it doesn't give you any guarantee that you will be getting profit always you might be incurring some losses as well so in such a situation this person is actually ready to take a risk he is living in a situation of uncertainty and he is taking a risk and that is why he is called an entrepreneur and he is getting some reward for his risk taking behavior and what will happen to the persons who are able to go for better management of risk definitely some superior entrepreneurs will be able to reduce their risk with better management better supervision etc so what happens to their profit their profit would be increasing so apart from this you need to understand that there have been several factors influencing your profit isn't it so all these should be taken into consideration but chumbita was not taking the other factors when it comes to profit he was just talking about innovation all the other factors got a negligence here or Shumbita was neglecting all the other factors here. So that is a very important criticism that you have to find with uh, Shumbita's innovative theory of profit or innovation theory of profit. So that's it. Thank you for watching. You can actually go for Learn Economy app where you can get previous year question papers and answers. free study materials live as well as recorded classes free mcq based weekly tests and so on what you have to do here is that you just need to download the learn economy app i'll be providing the link of the same in the description box that's it thank you for watching again you can be a part of our telegram community i'll be providing the links of the same in the description box so that's it kindly like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos